So I recently discovered this really cool technique to create a very realistic sounding rain-like texture using the ARP 2600 synthesizer. It sounds like this. Now what's really cool about this is that I'm not using noise. There's a noise generator on the synth. I'm not using that at all. In fact, you can bring this all the way down. So no noise in this particular patch. It's just using the three main oscillators. In fact, it's actually just using the first two oscillators, not even the third one here. No reverb as well. In fact, if I do add reverb, the patch does sound a bit strange. So you can hear a little bit of the resonance of the filter kind of cutting through there. But without reverb, it sounds like this. Sounds a lot more realistic without the reverb. Just to compare this with actual noise, so I'm actually using ring modulation for this patch. I'm gonna bring that down. Let's just hear the noise. And bring up the level. Yeah, so that's what pink noise would sound like. That's white noise. And compare that to what I have here. Sounds a lot more organic. All right, so let me show you how to create this from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna start from a template. So there's a template called one oscillator square, which sounds like this. So it's basically VCO1 set at a square shape going into the filter, which is then going into the VCA, which then finally goes into the mixer. All right, so I do not wanna hear that. So I'm gonna bring the VCO1 level down that's going into the filter. So now when I play on the keyboard, we don't hear anything. I want to hear the ring modulation signal, and that's one of the key elements of our patch. So let's bring up ring modulation here. We don't hear anything yet because the ring modulation is not receiving anything. So let's bring up the level for VCO1 and VCO2. And now we can hear VCO1 multiplied by VCO2, and that's the ring modulated result going out to the filter. All right, now I want this to happen at a much higher frequency. So let's set this to the highest octave, four feet. Same for VCO2. And let's also set the tuning to the highest. There's some pretty interesting effects we can get along the way, but focusing on the rain-like noise. Now, the next thing we need to do is to introduce cross-modulation. So I want VCO2 to modulate the pitch of VCO1 and VCO1 to modulate the pitch of VCO2. We don't have to patch that in because it's already set up over here. So VCO2's sine wave shape can modulate VCO1 here. I'm gonna bring the level down because this is gonna get loud. You wanna be careful to avoid any loud peaks. All right, so that's what that sounds like. And now let's cross modulate VCO2. So VCO1, it's using the pulse shape. I'm gonna modulate VCO2 now. And you can hear now the sound pretty much turns into complete noise. Doesn't matter which key I press. Some of the low keys sound darker, that's because of key tracking. Let's in fact disable key tracking here as well for both the VCOs. So now if I play low keys or high keys, you get that very consistent noise sound. All right, but it's not quite there yet. There's one more key element to this patch, and that is oscillator sync. So by default, it's off. I want to sync oscillator one to oscillator two, and this switch will do it. It's a bit extreme, we need to tone things down a bit. And I also want to shape the amp envelope here. So give it some attack and some release. So this AR envelope is controlling this VCA. All right, now I'm going to tone this down a little bit here. All right, that sounds a bit better. Now currently we're running this through the filter, but the filter is not really doing anything in low pass mode here. Let's switch to high pass mode and bring this filter frequency down. 
There we go. Add some resonance. You can even try the notch filter. Almost the same. But that's pretty much the sound. You can tweak the tonality by adjusting this cross modulation amount. Even the tuning on the oscillators. And there you go. A very interesting rain-like texture using the ARP 2600. I hope you found that helpful. Please stay tuned for more.